We need to get to the bottom of this and find out. Hi, how's it going? Can you tell me what the first name of this employee is? No, I cannot. I'm not sure who that is. You're not sure who that is. May I know what your name is? Hey guys, welcome back to another video that we're sharing on Patriot First Audits. Today we're looking at a video from Audit Them. I tell you, I can't get enough of his videos. He's very surgical. He knows all the laws. He really holds these public officials accountable to make sure that they are observing all the laws that they are required to observe. Today's video is a little bit different and unique in that he's redressing his grievances with Roselle, Illinois, with some grievances related to an employee that filed a copyright strike for privacy infringement on one of his videos. This is the first time I've seen this approach of anybody that appears in First Amendment auditors' videos, and it's quite unique, so we'll be following this very closely in the future here. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and like to help support this channel, and let's get right into today's video. All righty, it is your favorite auditor, Audit Them, the one who encourages you to audit them. Today we're doing a return visit to Roselle, Illinois City Hall. It is a little bit different what we're doing today. Um, an employee here was on the video for no more than 15 seconds. So, so she filed a false. Look at this. Flying. Um, she filed a false strike privacy strike this is the employee right here I also do have the come the YouTube uh, but beyond that uh, you guys remember Elizabeth the FOIA officer here she gave me her word that she'll have all seven records in 21 days it has not been 21 days yet that's not what I'm coming here to check up on so we need to get to the bottom of this and find out. Hi, how's it going? Can you tell me what the first name of this employee is? No, I cannot. I'm not sure who that is. You're not sure who that is. May I know what your name is? Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl, okay, nice to meet you. I'm here to submit a complaint, ma'am. Is the clerk available to speak to? Let me Sure. Just one minute. Sure. Alrighty, um, so I'd like to ask them, first of all, identify who the employee is, and see, the thing is that, yeah, anybody could file a privacy complaint on YouTube, but when it comes to a government employee working, representing themselves for the public body, on the official course of their duty, there's no privacy in public. The privacy complaint shall not hold up. So, what this employee did by filing the copyright strike for the 15 seconds of her being in the video is a, um, a violation of the city, of the, a violation of the Constitution as well. So, we're going to try to get that going. I'm also here going to be submitting a FOIA request as well. So I'm here for two things. Find out why the employee decided to file a privacy complaint while she's in public on government clock hour and um, to see if she would retract that 
before we leave here today. Um, you can't force nobody to do anything, but you could ask. That's what I'm doing. I'm asking. Can you remo remove that copy privacy complaint? If not, I would have to do my next step in filing a complaint and uh, potential uh, suit. We'll see how it goes. Just let's wait around a little bit here for the, I asked the lady Cheryl, she identified her name as Cheryl. She's gonna bring out the clerk here. Something on the counter there. forms here real quick so let me see here this is the place that I'm at right here you could go ahead ma'am oh, yeah this is where I'm at right now address and number So let me pause this as I wait here. And it looks like the lady up front, the lady that identified her name as Cheryl. She just told us a flat lie. I asked her, can you identify who this person is, which is her coworker. She said she's not sure of who it is. Now, as far as the copyright complaint, here it is. Audit them. to notify you that there was a complaint, privacy complaint from the 40, 42nd mark to 50 second, 57 seconds. So what's that? 17 seconds of the video uh, privacy. Case subject. So let's go ahead and wait here. That's the employee there. Let's see. Complaint. Sure, yes ma'am. Thank you. I also filled out my FOIA request, meanwhile credit card statements of 21 and uh, pictures of all employees in the possession of public body. Now how much do you think that it costs to talk tax dollars to create this plastic uh, pumpkin? But that's nor here nor there. Anyone come in? Not yet. Okay, hold on, let me check. Sure. Piggy bank. So here, let me break it down for you guys. This is what YouTube is saying. We would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit the private information. So what she thinks is private information is her face. That might be present within the content reported. After 48 hours of this notice, we will review the complaint for violations of privacy guidelines and consider restricting the content. So basically what this employee is doing is she's restricting a member of the public from providing content, content that rely on public interest, that back on public interest. So she thinks that it's a privacy, her face is private, while she's in a government setting as a government employee. That's really sad. That's really sad. I would hate for her to lose her job from her higher ups 
fire her because this brings a lot of uh, redress from the people to this town. I have not even mentioned this to you guys yet. I was waiting to come out here and mention this to you guys. I know if I would have put this picture in the community section, you guys would have reached out immediately and redressed. But like I said, um, yeah, that took place right there. So we're gonna find out what they want to decide to do here. Um, I mean, worst case, I would just have to take the video down, but really that's that's restricting my viewership and my view count and all that, setting me back. So um, I would have to re-upload it before the 48 hour mark. But worst case, all she would have to do is get on her cell phone and erase the email. That's all it is. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. Do you have a question? Yes, I do. Okay. May I know what your name and title is? My name is Jason Belasti. Nice to meet What's you. What's your name? My name is George. Okay. Can you tell me what this employee's name is? That's Martha. Martha, okay. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm here here today, oh. sir, is because um, she filed a copyright privacy uh, complaint on YouTube because I put this video on YouTube for matters of public interest. But YouTube here is saying that she's claiming her face for 15 seconds from the 40 minute mark, from the 40 second mark to 57. So 17 mm -hmm. seconds total she's complaining on that she's calling her face private and that that's a, that can be construed as a um, restricting the content. So she's basically restricting the content. All I'm asking for if she's able to remove that copyright strike because she is a government employee working in the official course of her duty here in this photo. And uh, there's no privacy in public, especially with an intelligent government employee supposed to act forthcoming and transparent. Okay. I did not want to file a complaint and pursue this. It, you know, it's not necessary, but the young lady just removes the copyright strike. I would have to remove this video by the end of the today according to YouTube, then I could have the opportunity to re-upload it before they remove it. It's, it's like, you know, but she has an option to remove the copyright strike. That way I don't want to file no complaints or nothing like that. I just want to, and she she's wants to have the video taken down when the people in the video watched it and they loved the attitude of the actual FOIA officer. They, she, she said, FOIA officer's kind and courteous and respectful, but she wants to have that removed. Okay. Yeah, so is she presently available? No. She's not? Okay. Um, so what could we do as far as having that? I, you'll have to leave any information you have with me, and I'll have to look into it. I, I don't know. You know what Martha. You, correct. So if there's some information you can leave with me, I can look into, but I, I don't know the specifics of, okay. of what you're stating and, and what I can do. And yeah. Well, she's off today. What's this employee's job title? To be honest, I, I think it's finance assistant. Finance assistant, okay. Um, and your title was administrator? Correct. I'm administrator. Okay, nice to meet you, sir. Um, so what I would do, sir, is I would, um, because she's not here today, do you believe any of the employees could call and ask the, the lady? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Don't call off somebody off clock. Okay, not a problem. Um, so I guess I would just have to file a complaint, then remove it with YouTube, and then re-upload it, whatever. Other than that, sir, I'm submitting one single uh, FOIA request, and I'll be all set for today. Okay. Uh, credit card statements of 21, 2021, and pictures of all employees in the possession of public body. And I included my email address there. If I could just have a co received copy of this, and I'll be all set. Yeah, let me get... Um, FOIA officer. Yeah, let me get... Thanks. Get, uh, and your name was? Jason. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Alrighty, so... That's the employee there. That's Martha. I tell you, so far this city is very respectful. Right. They're honoring his inquiries. They're very polite, which I think are, from the original video, this was all the same way. So this is just very odd that this employee submitted this copyright strike for privacy infringement, even though she's a public employee and there is no expectation of privacy in public. So audit them was all completely right, so... within his rights to record her. I don't have time to leave any copy work or paperwork with them. Copy of my paperwork because this video will be removed automatically by YouTube tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. At 4.29 tomorrow, it would be removed by itself if I don't act on it. So 
We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. Elizabeth, the FOIA officer. Yeah. Is there anything else you need from me then? That's all. Okay. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. He did identify the employee. I showed him an image. He told me her name is Martha and she may be the finance assistant. Possible. So imagine she copy she privacy strikes this video too because I'm showing a black and white picture of her face. Um, they say she's not here today. Really, what sh what I should have done is I should have bought my other cell phone with me and told you guys to do not call here until they call her while she's at home or off off work today. And Hi. hey, ma'am, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good. The people seen the video, ma'am, they loved your attitude. But the reason why I'm here is because this employee filed a privacy strike. Yeah, that's fine. You don't yeah. have to explain it to me. I, okay. I know you talked to our village administrator. That's fine. Meeting. Yeah. So here's your FOIA request. Okay. I stamped it. It's hard to see because I... It's really okay, ma'am. It's okay. So um, I'll get that together for you and send it to you. Okay, cool. That is Martha? Uh, yeah. Martha, okay. Because okay. I got to file a complaint. But anyway, thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Have a good day. Take care. All right, so I'll go ahead and file a complaint at a later time. Hi. Um, I got a copy of my FOIA request. See what I what I was saying, guys, is what I wanted, what I should have done. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section. It's too late now. I walked out. But um, do you think that um, I should have called on my other cell phone? I should have went live on my other cell phone and tell you guys, do not call, do not call these people. Until they remove this privacy strike because it didn't work out for me today she's not here so I gotta take take uh, and take account into my hands and remove the video by myself but um we'll figure it out the one who encourages you to audit them and there you have it I think this video came out very cordial from this city and audit them as usual and audit them as usual does an excellent job in managing the employees and making sure they're being held accountable. Uh, so this came out pretty good. I'm, I'm looking forward to the follow-ups and why these employees are submitting copyright and privacy strikes like this. That's definitely worthy of a complaint. And I think audit them in the future should file complaints when things like this happen. But I think he's giving them the benefit of of the doubt because they're very cordial and met all of his needs, uh, which is all that's needed in these types of situations. Thanks for watching once again, and we'll catch you on the next video.